your business is earning you way mm. more True. than your professional mm. career. Yes. And so many people are actually fearing mm. to start up no, businesses. They fear because of the comfort zone there. Mm. You see, when you're in office, mm. I'm not saying people should leave their jobs. Mm. When you're in office, you're comfortable. That is there true. There is insurance, mm -hmm. maybe there is transport, because yeah. they pro some, some they provide, provide for yeah. them mm. transport. You're always Who's smart. There, you're always smart. <laughs> you really see the like, white collar mm, job is, is the best. You're done. But let me tell you, mm. there's this lady behind there working in Jeanette, the hands are dirty. Mm. But don't forget that she'll go back in the saloon and work on them and still shine. Again. Yes. I never had that whole thing of business in me. Yeah. I knew it was you had, you, employment you, you, mm -hmm. and, and growing. That is yeah, it. yeah. I didn't have the idea of business at all. Yeah. And our mom was a businesswoman. Yeah. She really wanted us to take that route. But I think if it's not the right time, you can't just go into that. Yes. I got a uh, question mm. from my hubby one time mm. he happened to ask me if i woke up and uh, my job is no more if you lost your job right now do you think you would survive that what question you... beat me back in my mind i was like what i wasn't organized yeah so i was like what a question yeah but when i got this it was job, an opener like it makes you to think so you already had orders before Oh my God, we just... The moment there. you started, you got orders immediately. That was... And good. how did you get those orders, first of all? Like, Through how did people get to know you online. and what you were doing? Online. Wow. My hubby opened up a page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I remember the, these kids, Esther and Ezekiel, they... Con you mean the artists? They, yes. Oh. They reached out to him. The, one, oh, the like, ones that uh, yeah. performed that gold... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> East Africa's got talent. True. So yeah. I remember him sending me a screenshot. Mm. Can you imagine these kids also love? Uh, mm. I saw their text. We love peanut butter. I was so happy. Mm. I was like, wow. And when we put these things online, mm. I think the number increased. I sent Pina to Canada, Somalia, Nairobi. You were already moving borders before you, moving out of home. Who, so you would do everything at home. At home. So people actually underestimate the power of social media, but they, you don't know what, yeah, how far it I can actually take knew. you. Yeah. I wish they knew, because mm. people would call from different areas. Yes. Mm. Our branding sold us so much. I felt like we have done something so you have really did a good job with the branding, branding and the soldiers. graphics and eh? also me and uh, in production yeah i really did. wanted to compete with our branding so that we you really match. yes we match because mm. people would buy something yeah. but the inside part of it yeah, is it, it the same be. as what you've written uh -huh. so i really put in effort to i would leave the quality. kitchen <laughs> yeah but still i remember in the supermarket some manager asked me are you going to be supplying us only one product? Why don't you add in something else? You think it's good? Mm. And you're so good. you had to get creative. Uh, yes, I felt Ooh, good. That's good. The yeah, giving you good. more yes. uh, more ideas in to the, grow. Yes, I would go for these people, in, not forgetting. Even people in the supermarkets when I would deliver, because the guy would deliver there, I would also follow up for mm. payments. But whenever I would be there, mm. I can't leave my mask tipping these guys who help. Because remember when they are selling, people ask, some clients ask, which one is good? Mm. So I would make sure they are happy recommending, the, yours. recommending the product. And also when I'm delivering mm. to mm. them, That's a I used to put for them something. The like 250 had to be there for them. I would tell my I would tell the delivery man, mm. make sure you give this person working in the peanut place. This is his to eat at home. Trust me, that was one way also of marketing. Making yes, sales. sales yeah. in that. Hi friends and welcome back to another interesting video. My name is Karunji Josephine and I'm so glad to have you here. If this is your first time, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, 
thank you too for coming back to watch today's video now in today's video we have a special guest with us she is a lady in business and her story is one of a kind one that i find really so inspiring because i have seen her journey and i think that the knowledge she has learned will be of benefit to us you know what join me and let's welcome her on this youtube channel you're welcome my dear thank you madam josephine for yeah. having me here it's quite a pleasure thank you for accepting <laughs> to I'm share honored. this knowledge with us i'm honored yeah uh my name is nyangoma jen director kaine and uh, twins investment limited yeah um i'm into gina business I've been into Ginat business for four years now. Okay. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Yeah. I think I can uh, inspire one or two people out there mm, who want to your join. Story. Yeah. yeah. Who want thank to you. Join entrepreneurship. Yes. And thank you once again. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now you know what I find so interesting about women in business yes. is that we we prove a point of like. We were created for more. Yeah. You get? You were created for more than just being a mom, than mm. just being a daughter, mm. than just being a girl and all that. Mm. And God has put so much potential in ladies. And whenever I yeah. see a woman in business succeeding, mm. I am so inspired. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? This proves we can actually do it as we women. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Most of the times men dominate this market so much. Yeah. But when a woman comes out and they are doing something amazing, I, I find it quite interesting to Very share. True. Yeah. So I'd like us to take I would like you to take us from the start. Mm. Right from the start. Mm. How did you come up with the business idea? And before mm. that, were you working somewhere? Yes. You have a formal job? Yes. Apart from your business? Yes. And uh, what compelled <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. to start a business? I was working with Kamsat Uganda. Okay. Kamsat is a, mm. a telecom company. Mm. Yeah, we are doing monitoring. Mm. That is a customer care, then uh, call centers. So yeah. we are working two days, mm. then the other days would be off, okay. which gave me. Uh, a time. A time to think about. Mm. Let me take you back. I got a uh, question mm. from my hubby one time, mm. like seven years back. Mm. He happened to ask me if I woke up and uh, my job is no more, what are my plans? Yeah. Well, let's pause it right there. If you are watching this video and you have a job, or let me say you, you're working somewhere, if you lost your job right now, do you think you would survive? Like, how would you live without your job? Because so much, uh, so many people actually relying on their job for each and everything. Right. And to the extent that we sometimes get comfortable, right? Very. Yeah, very. since I have a formal job, it's paying me this sure. amount of money. Mm. I don't want any other stress, that's yeah, enough. Yeah. So I like that question. Yeah, when he asked me that, actually mm. I started preparing my mind. Mm. And to myself, think, yes. what would I do? Oh, in case I lost my job. True. Mm. So at first I thought of um, boutiques, fashion, because mm -hmm. I have that sense of uh, oh, yeah, fashion. fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But still, I saw like many people had ventured into fashion, mm -hmm. boutiques. I said, no, the mm. market is high. It is Maybe crowded. It is crowded. Mm. So again, mm. I gave it time. I think. I got the right time. I prepared my mind for the right time. Mm. That's when I got a job that would give me some time to think. So one time I was coming from work, I happened to, to find shops open selling raw seeds. Seeds of what? Uh, of cowpies, ginats, okay. maize grain. Yeah. Mm. I didn't even take five minutes, but my head was like, wow, this is nice. Mm. So I made a call to my hubby again. Mm. I told him I have your answer for the question you gave you me gave seven me. years back. Wow. So when I called him, mm. I passed on the idea of production. To him, he didn't buy the idea immediately. Yeah. He told me, no, that thing needs a lot of money. Mm. I think he thought we needed a, a big factory. Yeah, yes. yeah, something huge. So I said, what can I tell this gentleman to mm. believe me? Yeah. I didn't give up. I continued telling him the same thing time and again. Mm. So until he bought the idea, but he told me on condition 
that those genets, what he sees, mm. people just get little profit. If only you add value on that, mm. they will I'll support to... you. Okay. Immediately, I said, okay. Mm. He told me, I'm going to do such as you're doing ground search as well. Okay. So and you embarked on doing research. research like, How can you add value to this? Yes. Okay. And, uh, he explained to me how mm. to add value. He told me when you buy things at uh, 5,200, mm. maybe you will just get 100. You find you're selling them like 500, 300, you're getting just 100 on it. Yes. You have not counted for for transport, mm, your labor, labor, everything. So when he explained to me, I got to know what exactly it means to, it add, means value. to add value. Okay. That's when I started the search and um, he connected me to someone who took me through the whole journey to mm. learn. So what did he mean by you adding value to okay. that? Okay, mm. after telling me to add value, he told me once you buy the raw seeds, mm -hmm and um, clean you start from scratch mm. you clean mm -hmm. you roast, roast mm. you grind and then sell out there source you add something you earn maybe seven thousand than earning the five over five five hundred five thousand two hundred mm. so immediately class like wow this is good yeah. so he made for me the um, accountability telling mm. me you will add on the labor you add on the um, stickers, the bottles, all the that branding. branding. You will put it on that same tin that you have processed the, yeah. the peanut, mm. and you'll find that you're earning more than what you wanted to earn in the first place. Yeah. So I really saw that it was a good idea. Mm. I liked it. We didn't give up. Yeah. He started the artwork mm. since he was into branding. Mm. When so the, he did the graphics by himself? Everything. Wow. The colors, the name, because mm -hmm. uh, we used... Uh, by, by then, you had not yet come up with any business name? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. We only had... Uh, we had actually a, a business name, mm. Surge Media. Let me take you back. Mm. I, I had um, a dream of uh, starting up a videography. Because I did mass communication. Oh, wow. Yes. And I thought I would work on TV mm. or radio. Yeah. I actually did a test on radio. Mm. That is Bob FM. Oh. I also went to record TV. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know where things ended. <laughs> but by then, mm. it needed transport. Uh, and whenever I would tell you, you salary, still young. I was still young. When okay. I was done like this with campus, immediately mm. me, I hit the road to search for it for a job yeah so mass communication okay i specialized into radio and uh, TV. tv i thought that's where i was going straight but things didn't work that way mm. so whenever i would go there they would tell me about transport and i see the salary with mm -hmm. transport they are not connecting <laughs> So mm. from there, I didn't, I don't know how I ended up not working on radio. Yeah. Then there's a company around Musa Courts. I remember they called a group of people mm. to go. I also went to Musa Courts. They had a company called Kent. Yes, we sat there, were like eight girls, mm. but still they told us they'll give us a call. I didn't mind. So. I was from campus. What I did, I got a taxi back home in the village because there's nothing I was doing home here yeah. in Kampala. So you had to. When go I back. reached home, Mummy was still in the market. She phoned me. She was like, eh, I thought you're in Kampala looking for a job. But to me, I was like, I, I put the applications. Mm, I'm, tired. I'm tired. Let me come and rest. She was like, okay. At around 8, I received a call. Mm. Remember, I traveled that day. I received a call. From one of the bosses mm -hmm. telling me, we expect you tomorrow, you're going to start working with us. What? Remember, I've traveled to Fort, and now they're telling from me. From Kampala? From Kampala. And so you had to travel Ooh, back? I came, my mother put me on the bus the next day. I came, met them at mm -hmm. the office. They told me the kind of work is tournament, you're going to Asha, mm -hmm. we shall be giving you a cafe, mm -hmm. and if you work well, I think we shall stay with you, mm -hmm. or permanent. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, still like, I, we discussed it with my hubby. I was like, you can be there since now you're getting experience. Mm. So I was there also mm. until when they started, I think, going 
for tournaments in Rwanda. But that was before you started the business Yes, thing. yes. Okay. I was still taking you through mm. all those things mm. that yeah. I never had that whole thing of business in me. Yeah. I knew it was you had, you, employment it, mm -hmm. and, and growing. That is yeah, it. yeah. I didn't have the idea of business at all. When I left that place, because mm. they were going to run that places and you needed to put in money yeah. you know, from the university, nothing. Forget it. Uh, I went to someone connected me to New Vision. Mm -hmm. You hear how moving? Yeah. <laughs> New Vision, I met a lady called Peace. Peace told me the kind of work we were going to do was marketing. Okay. Would move in offices. I moved in the industry area. At least I would pray to get like transport back to Entebbe and then I come back to Kampala. So we'd go in places where we ask for them to be advertised in papers. Yeah. So the more you get customers, the more the money they give you. I saw it was too hard for me. Mm. Convincing people about marketing or advertising in papers, it was too hard. hard. Mm. But I tried. I remember I went to Uganda, but talked to them, the Indians, but they told me, okay, we shall call you back. How it's old okay. were you then? I was like 22, 21. Mm. So they would tell me, we shall call you back. Mm. You can go. I wait for the call. I used to charge my phone. Mm. Wait for the call, nothing. And but nothing. until mm. one time, Dama, Dama had just opened. Dama, they called me. They're like, okay, I think we've picked interest in what you brought here yesterday. I said, okay, I listened. I was excited, ran back to Madame Peace, told her, I think we've got a deal. She was like, okay, I think the rest I will explain to them. Mm. We went with Madame Peace. So we used to tell them if you advertise white and black, it is 700. If it is colored, it is one point something. I don't remember well. But um, I remember that was the deal that we hit. I think they paid her 700. Mm. And she gave me my. And was it was happy. a big deal. Yes, it was a big deal. Yeah, so I, I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> because I know it can be really long if you yes. take us through the whole yes, thing. Yes, yes. Right? So I like you to. Take us from this start. Now you've come up with the business yes. idea. Your husband has, you know, mm. told you I uh, will do the branding for you. Yeah. So talk about the training. You didn't know what you were doing. I didn't know. Mm. We paid for three months. Mm -hmm. I went under learning that is training. To learn what exactly learn you Gina's. had to do. Still, I went under such again. So how did you, first of all, how did you get connected to the person who was... Uh, it is through my hubby. Mm. Yeah, when he Connected was, it to someone who was doing something nice. Yes. That he thought would No, work. yeah, he was doing some business. He was doing juice business. But my hubby asked him, mm. could you be knowing someone who can help out? My wife is interested in this and that. Mm. Then he said, okay. Actually, my mother mm. does the same business like what you're speaking or talking about. Wow. So when they called him, they, he shared the number to me. I contacted the guy. Mm. He told me, you're going to learn for three months. And he told me the sum of money we are supposed to pay for that period, which we paid. And I went under learning. Mm. So for three months? Three months. Mm -hmm. So he sent me for the requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need requirements, saucepan, mm -hmm. charcoal stove. Ch eh, everything. When I heard, I was like, wow, this is another one. Mm -hmm. Mingling. So still. by then you would still go at your workplace and yes. work? Yes, we were working because okay. we, we were hearing in China, mm -hmm. COVID, something like that is coming So that up. was during the lockdown? Not yet. Okay. Yes. So the planning came in in 2021. Then 2022, I think that's when we got the first lockdown. Yes. And all that was still under such. Then after I learned, then this gentleman told me, I think you're ready to go. After out. training for the three months? Yes. Okay. He tested my things and he said, you're ready to go out. So he asked me, which people are you targeting in the market? That's when I told him, I think supermarkets. Yeah. Yeah. So our branding was okay. We brought for him. He saw the branding. Wait, how did you start? Did you start from home? We started did you open from up home. a shop. You started it was from home. home. Everything, everything was home. So you could Though, do everything manually. Yes, mm -hmm. it is from charcoal you stove from to the, the hands mm -hmm. to the only that would take for grinding, grinding outside home. But the rest was uh, bring the product, 
uh, roasted. roasted, no clean, roast, because mm -hmm. they have to pick out the dirty stuff because yes, they yes. needed quality. Mm. Yeah. So it is roasting, then remove the cover, mm. pack in the buckets, then take to the the Super machines. Market. No, the mm, machines the for machines. grinding. Mm -hmm. After grinding, you have to leave it to cool down. You have to prepare the bottles, tins for packing. Then you have to follow up the stickers. Sometimes they would come when they, have, they, are, they are cut badly, maybe they have yeah. faults or the, they have messed up with dates. You mm. have to do all that work. So we pack, then we look for more orders. So my colleague I was working with Hillary. Mm. I, 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 we had worked together and I saw he was a humble man. I told him, can we work together? I have something I'm doing. I mm -hmm. don't know whether you buy this idea. We work together, I can give you something small. We start building this whole thing together. He didn't decline the request. Mm, he accepted. He accepted. Mm. So what was he doing specifically? Delivering. We had a motorcycle. Oh, mm. He would deliver in each and every place. For these so people who, would who ordered online. online. Mm. Even though you're aware, would just, it's just a call. Yeah, we'll tell you, too. delivery is free. Talk about, mm, talk about the supermarkets. How did you reach out to several supermarkets? Supermarkets. You would I walk from one to another? Yes. Because that was your target yes. audience? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would do, would set, like this week, maybe we want like five supermarkets. We name them. We call out people mm -hmm. to refer us to other supermarkets. I know, I remember my hub even had a day. I think a full day calling one person who was supplying one supermarket in much India. Mm. He called that person, that gentleman gave us like 15 supermarkets. So for him, he handed over the names to me. He told me, reach out to those people. If it means putting for you fuel, yeah. if it means giving you transport, make sure you reach there. And the I did connection is to, really very powerful. It's good. It's yeah. good. And I didn't want to show him that weakness whereby he's putting everything on the table, but mm. I'm just not doing anything. Yes. So even sometimes I would wake up like I'm lazy, I'm wild, but I still I would say, mm, mm. which feedback will I give him? So it really gave me that height to mm, come out push. of the comfort zone and uh, I had mm. to reach out to the supermarket. So still you would go to your former job? Yes. And it would allow you to still work on your business we would because remember we mm. will work two days two two days and uh two nights you you dressed you have a rest yeah, yeah. so after mm. the supermarkets weren't easy going to supermarkets you have to be having a barcode mm -hmm. you have to be having a chip code that did you know anything about that <laughs> because that's also a different story immediately like call mm -hmm. As soon as they tell me something new, I'm like, what are they what talking is about? That? Yeah. yeah, everything was new to me. Mm. So you had not done research about mm. such? N the, the gentleman tried to tell me about it, but he thought we were going to first sell inside, not outside yeah. there. So we got all those requirements one by one. Yeah. Supermarkets, they are the ones which put me on pressure. They would tell me, if you have no UNBS, if your product is got here, they will throw everything. So wait, you were already talking about UNBS. Like, was your business registered already? The demand mm. in supermarkets wouldn't allow me to rest. I had yeah. to chase, I had to get a company. The company, we relaxed a bit. Mm -hmm. But there is one friend of my big sister. Mm. She's called Vicky. God should bless her for me with a husband. They mm. raised for us money. Remember we were building. To register. Yes. Oh, she so you had not gotten the had finances it. yet. Yes. Oh. Every day they would Shout ask. out to good <laughs> friends <laughs> they would that ask. push us yes. to become our yes. best self. Mm. Starting, we started with little capital. I think it was like 500. Oh. Buying a sack. Mm. Of course, the sack was first. People are making big orders. Yeah. It's new to us. So I remember when we got the company registered, mm. but we had already used Chutis mm -hmm. as our brand name. I didn't, ex when we went to companies, they rejected the name Chutis because mm -hmm. it was already used by someone else. Mm. So, we so let me ask, there is a difference between a product name and a company yeah, name? Yeah. What is the difference? I thought mm. that a company name is actually the same as the product name. It would work that way, if mm. at all you don't 
open i think when you you're doing branding eh? you need to be when you have registered first mm. the company okay. before opening up so we had already so, put out the mm. branding name before registering the company oh so we expected shooties to not to be in the company in mm. the company but uh, when we reached there when we went for search mm. to register the to business register the business we found that it was, it was used, used by someone else oh. so that's actually just hold up hold up here if you are a business owner out there and you haven't registered your business your own like standing on a risk mm. because you might be there yeah. you already have your business name set mm. when it is already registered like someone already took that name legally yeah. that means you can't use it anywhere oh, else can't. so it is always good to actually mm. register your business first search yes about the business name before and then, yeah before starting mm. to mm. see if there is someone else using yes. it then from there register it yes. to avoid mm such things I remember we looked around for mm. names until i thought of our kids but I also think it's a good thing because mm. now since you have a company name mm. and a product name mm. it is also an opportunity for you to start up some other products yes yes you don't can. you see yes, yes. yeah you can it's, it's a good thing it is mm -hmm. so that's how i used kaine and twins investment mm. That's how it came in the picture. Yeah. But we still retained our cheaties because it was really precious. As a shop. product. Yes. As a product mm. name. Mm. Yeah. You so, had already marketed it. Yeah. yeah. So we reached that stage. Mm. Every day when you try something, this mm. one comes up. So in supermarkets, the supermarkets increased around Kampala. That demand so was high. That demand was high. Mm. Others would reject because you have no chew code, but... Um, so, let me also ask. Mm. When someone is going to register their business, mm -hmm. what should they know? Because so many people okay, would like to, but they don't know where to start from. Where to start from. Mm. To me, it's better when you go to legal, like lawyers. So you use lawyers you. Yes. to do all the work for you? Yes. What if you don't have lawyers and you just want to go deep into Things that? nowadays are online. Oh. Just down, go online. Research and about research what you about need. It. Yes. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, but mm. if you have no time, mm. I think lawyers are the best. Yes. Mm. Pay them the money, mm. follow up, don't mm. just hand over everything. There's yeah. where you need to do adjustment. Yeah. So that's what I did. We did the search, mm. we got the name registered the company mm. then i started following up the process of mm. the UNBS. registering yes yeah. UNBS, so after registering mm. you're free to get the, that barcode no the barcode mm. is not given by the unbs guys mm -hmm. yes okay yes. teach me about <laughs> that <laughs> i thought that, that one that came are... that one came first because remember you can't supply supermarkets minus a barcode it's the code they that... used to pay you yeah what i thought it's the unbs that actually uh, unbs is shoe code is the that is the the, quality, the stamp that they put on your product after mm. uh, mon monitoring or yes supervising yes. the they quality come of your product the, yes yes where and you, you need from. a location where you're working from so, so had you moved out of home or you were still yes, producing from yes home? i because I, I knew mm. what i was going in the mm. line that was for you and bs those guys need to come and do such yeah so they, you had to go rent out a place outside so you yeah. had to move out of home mm. Okay. Remember, we are dealing with food yeah, the and hygiene. hygiene. Mm. So I expected that once they find you working from home, of course, mm. they cancel your product and you not sell anywhere. Oh. So we got a shop, but the area location is also important. Yeah, definitely. We got a we got a shop in a homestead. Should I say no? It in is a residential, a residential home. The machine would shout. Would make me myself food. I would feel uncomfortable then how about the neighbor the next yeah. person so people were not comfortable with it we rented for four months I think we closed we we looked for another place where we are right now mm. that's Mutungo Bina mm -hmm. if you know Mutungo Bina that's next to the church Catholic Church okay if you're coming from Radio Maria yeah the shop is just there Wow. And uh, people are really supporting us. So there are, there are no residentials? Like the, no, it's a commercial area. The machines area. are not mm, it's shouting. It's a commercial for, area, shops, eh, what yeah. everyone is doing their own mm. businesses. Mm. So we opened up a shop. And uh, we saw 
doing production only of peanut that will also just close our money in now let me take you back a little bit mm -hmm. you talked about um the working from home yes there are so many people who fear to start because mm. they have no location yes they are like now i need like how your husband thought that yes. you need that big factory mm. but then you want to start small because mm. i always believe in uh, you know small beginnings yeah. so you were at home mm. and you had a job mm. how would you balance this thing and because uh, first of all mm. You have to make sure that you're there at your job. True. But still, make sure that a business home is also it running. It wasn't Did business. you have help at home? I had a nanny. Mm -hmm. she would, all those people worked hand in hand with so me. So your nanny would help at, like, at home and then still help with the business? Should yes, wow, that would be over. We, I don't know how I can talk about it. Yes, it was too oh. much for us. Were, were you paying how well? well? Yes, I was. Oh. Even on the side of the business, mm. I would pay her like she's doing a different thing. Oh. Then the nanny thing should also be paid her money. That's quite yes, because I would measure the kilos, mm. pay her for what she has done. Yeah, even the ladies would come in, I would measure and pay them there is something good in business mm. once you pay workers i think your business flows. there's a way yes. to move talk about i think that. even the blessings that's, come out from workers yes there are some business people who mm. own businesses and just want to use people yeah like these people are working so hard to see that your business is standing out mm. is making profits mm. but then you're giving them peanuts like i mean little salary for mm. the kind of labor yeah. they are putting in yeah and that is very good mm. if you want to earn their trust really pay yes. them well and they will deliver they quality will deliver quality wow that's so very i good. work hand in hand with them mm. i feel i should even pay a worker mm. Maybe I'll Before. pay myself later. Definitely. One day I'll pay myself. But uh, I would work. Lucky enough, the, when we went in lockdown, mm. they brought all the equipment. We started working from home. Mm. And the kind of job I was doing needed uh, privacy. Your monitoring, mm. your phone, it was just, you know, the machine is running. Yeah. <laughs> it was too much. It's too much in the other one area. Yeah. So, but still, we kept on pray, praying, mm. pushing, and uh, before the interview, like mm. before coming on set, mm. you told me something that I picked interest mm. in. You told me that you work with the children, like mm. they actually help in the yeah. work True. process. Yeah. And I'm surprised. Do you know that some parents actually, their children don't know what kind of job they are doing. Mm you get mm. and it is quite interesting that you taught your children what exactly you are doing yes. and they are involved so how did you uh, let your children get into this how did you make them love it because if they're doing it without you forcing them mm -hmm. then you must have done a good job training them yeah. mm. well i can tell parents out there mm. involve your children in two businesses you're doing yeah i was inspired by my mother our mom is a business lady mm. who used to deal in uniforms, gomeses, and in markets those days it was tough. Mm. So I think she inspired us a little mm. bit and I really had to involve these kids in. But they mm. also had interest, I think. Sure. Mm. So you would not force them to do no anything? No one. I find them on... Do you know finding your kids? They were online already. This one is putting stickers, this one is packing, this oh, one is great. That's Mommy so sweet. here, they are burning, I would be here, and they yeah. were juggling in two different things. But all of us would be busy. Mm. The other home was full of people who are busy all the time. And that is good. Mm. You're teaching them how to actually get this money yeah. the right way. Yeah. And yeah. also show them where the money comes from. True. So I'm sure they must have valued the benefits of that work. I, I made orders for How did you keep them motivated? Because <laughs> I know kids can, you know, you have get to get tired. them something. Yes. Not lying it. to them. When I make orders for aprons and caps, mm. for I have to make sure I make for them so that they feel they're like part they are of part, the whole. The whole thing. Yes, kids, it's something small that mm. makes them feel yeah. like they are part of yeah. it. Mm. And again, these things we are doing them for our children. Yes. Yes. You have to train Remember, them. Remember, when you train them, mm. that foundation they find 
really makes them grow. No they will always yeah. remember, but it mommy also. taught us. True. Yeah, <laughs> it is true. So that's how the Jeanette business went and uh, we got the shop. The shop I felt, can we just do peanut? No, we have to add in something. Okay. Then uh, I move around, consult a lot about mm, business. Getting reviews People from at, customers. Yes, yes. Mm. So that's how I came up with that other idea of adding in Jeanette mm. paste, the sauce. Okay. This normal Jeanette mm. powder, the sauce we use in homes powder grade one grade one we roast a bit and then grain mm -hmm. it comes out like it's brown and it has that smell which is really spiced good. up it's really good yeah it mm. smells good yes mm. so we added in all that but still i remember in the supermarket some manager asked me are you going to be supplying us only one product why don't you add in something else you think it's good Mm. And you're so good. you had to get creative. Uh, yes, I felt Ooh, good. That's good. The yeah, giving you good. more yes. uh, more ideas In to the, grow. Yes. Let's talk about the challenging bit of it. Yeah. I know you've talked about the benefits, mm. how you were able to, you know, stand out there mm. and people get to see what you are doing. But I'm sure, mm, yeah, as you is. are having this progress, mm. they are challenges yeah. as well. Mm. So what are some of these challenges and how have you been oh, able to the work over the yes. along? Mm. I think lack of uh, capital. If we had capital, I think would have boomed. Because remember the thing, the branding mm. sold us out. Yeah, people were the, asking the for quality things you didn't have. was good. Okay. So capital and also the, um, the raw seeds would go out of market because of the seasons. Okay. Cause we, you had not learned about the seasons. Yeah, we didn't know anything. Because I would call in, they tell me, don't you know that genus are now not in the market? Mm. I'm like, how? They're like, oh, you learn, <laughs> this is business. Yeah. You learn and I would way. interact a lot with people in Owino. Mm. I got friends with border borders, the bicycle guys, the people who carry. I was to, people at first saw me in Owino, they didn't know that I have love for this yes. product. So would go there. I speak to them. They see me like as if I'm not serious. But I tell them I'm so in love with this Why? thing. Why? Why did they not take you serious? You didn't I look like... I didn't. You didn't look serious. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I would reach out and say, no, no, no. They're like, no, this one is not serious. What is She's not serious mm. at all. But in actual, I had the interest for these things. And I love them so much. Yeah. So I would really follow up. The suppliers really were giving me good product only that i messed up of recent when i went for the lower prices and i, I, I made a loss up. yes okay. the Sorry. supplier gave me wrong genus of course you have to get immediate a feedback from your clients they called me customers were complaining what is happening our peanut is changing mm -hmm. i'm like no i'm working on it please let me work on this but what i call upon people not to ever do mm. is to go for low labor and also cheap labor, cheap labor and uh, also when you want to get much profit look at it what mm. it will come along with what would be the side effects yes so Oof, talk what. about that because mm. truth is <laughs> when you're looking at business mm. sometimes when people say the only way to make profits mm. is mm. actually going for cheap labor mm. but it is costly at it's some costly. point it costed me a lot yeah and also clients coming prices normally rise or go down mm. and it, once it you disturbs don't, you yes i didn't know about that mm. until one client customer called me but you don't decrease on your prices <laughs> other people are so that's when you have to wake up yeah and start following up other shops you maybe find out which price are they on? Mm. They have prices. And uh, customers go around asking for prices because they're yeah. looking for lower things and you have to. So I had Make to sure you fit in. Yes. But still, mm. let me ask like, would you price according to what other people are pricing or according to the quality of the what quality. you are producing? Like on peanut butter, mm. standard. Okay, standard the one kg of mixed simsim mm. that is 15. Other people you hear they're selling it 18, 20, but to me, I know 
Mm. Others sell it at the lower price at 7,000. Me, I'm like, no. You'd stick to that The price. tins are for free. The tiffins are for free. Mm. Delivering for you is for free. The border man is always there to put things on your doorstep. So people, I told them, we are here to serve you. Yeah. I'm here to solve your problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we need like we yes. want problem solvers yes. even yeah. though it closed two minutes mm -hmm. they call your man is not at the shop i'm ever laughing so good <laughs> <laughs> he's coming mm -hmm. he has gone to deliver somewhere he's yeah. like we don't want you to close this shop because we already used to you mm -hmm. people in mtungo are so supportive they have supported me through thick and thin Oh. Yes, I have to thank them so much for yeah. loving so me. So if you actually come from that place and you know her business or you don't know, yes, you can check it they out. They know, they know. Yeah. <laughs> they have supported me, the shops. We yeah. target shops. Mm. Shops take kilos, like 20, 15. Mm. In a week, we sell like to 15 shops. Mm. They will make twi they will make orders like twice in a week. Yeah. And that has helped us really in our sales. I had no, another challenge I had was uh, bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. We had no records We had no idea I'm about bookkeeping. You. We had <laughs> receipt books. Mm -hmm. The money would come in. Mm -hmm. I had a bad behavior of money. Oh. The way the money would you hand didn't over. didn't know about financial I management. Didn't until I saw. And that is a very crucial part when it comes to running a business. Because yes. money actually I runs even what your I was business. Doing. Mm. I remember even when I met you in the next guy. Yeah. You told me. <laughs> I yeah. need your confidence back. Mm. I was like, I don't really need it. I'd lost mm. it. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, they have met good people. Amazing people. Yes. Nice that I met you also. I think we wouldn't be here. <laughs> we wouldn't be sharing True. this interview. You are so yeah. good. And another thing, mm. really, connecting is something very powerful. Mm. So if you're a business owner mm. or even thinking about <laughs> that or thinking about growing as a person, yeah. mm. do not keep yourself in a box. Like, mm. reach out, go to events, yeah. see what people are doing, what mm. are they doing different. Yeah. You learn a lot from people when you go out. When you invest in yourself. Yes. Trust me. See what people are doing. You How? Yes. Wow. I've met good people. Mm. You people trust me. Don't do one thing. Look out for more ideas. So this financial journey has mm. helped you to do better in yes. your business. Yes. But she still introduced me to other people, other platforms. Mm. That is other good. coaches. Mm. You people coaches are there who are giving people Tell them, Ooh. tell them. Once I'm actually a coach them. as well. Yes. So do not walk the journey alone. Yeah. Like if you have an area you are struggling in mm. and you need guidance, mm. there are people to help you, you know, to hold your Children. hand. And we are all specified in different ways. Mm. Like I love talking about money. I love talking about personal growth. True. I love to see people grow mm. in business, mm. in their life. You know, mm. that is something very good. Mm -hmm. And if you need guidance, True. one thing I've learned That's is not to fear time. reaching yes, out yes, yes. and accepting that I need help. True. Yeah. Once you accept, people are ready to help you. Yeah. Out. you reach out to people. And I see if you go out there and socialize with people, mm. they help you. Okay. People are are dying mm, with people depression. Are they don't mm. know what they are good at. Yes. Because they fear. They fear Once to you share. Once you get fear in yourself, mm. everything is buried. Yeah. Go on. So I want you to also take us through um, how have you been able to balance? Because you, you told me you're still at your workplace, mm. right? Mm. How have you been able to balance the uh, your job and your business? Because some people think that when you start your side hustle and it booms, mm. it starts making some good profits, mm. quits. <laughs> now, all I can tell people, mm. never quit before it's right time for you to first yes. stabilize. Re you remember the steps I told you we were taking? Mm. Can you quit your job before you <laughs> before stabilizing? You can't. So yeah. people should not quit. Please don't mm. quit your job. But before. still don't fear to start up something don't out of your job. Up. Yes. You can still, the things I was telling you were doing, you can do them at night. Yeah. And you work during the day. Yeah. That job gave you an experience to do something. If I didn't work there, maybe I wouldn't be out on social media. Yes. I wouldn't have met um, people. Different people. Yes. Yeah. People who are supporting me. Mm. So don't quit your job. Yes. Work. 
you need to first stabilize. Stabilize. When yeah. you see it now, you're also a boss on your own. Yeah. It's okay, call it a quit. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask another question. Mm. I don't know whether you're okay with this one. Okay. Should we say now that your business earns way better than your, your professional career? True. That one is, yeah. Because one supermarket, mm -hmm. I can pay me my salary. Yes. Wow. Don't quit your job. Mm. But think about something. Yes. Use oh, the same question. Uh, they ask, ask yourself. Me. Yes. <laughs> what what if you, you lost your job right now? Yes. What else would you do? That's the question. And I feel like we have been called for more. Like, don't limit yourself on only one thing. Yes, yes. So, what would you tell uh, business owners out there? What would be your last words? All I can say mm. is learn to pray for your product. Mm. Pray for your business. You should pray for your business. Pray for your money. Sometimes I pray for my genius where I send them. To you vote God your... in your things. In everything. Oh my God. Luck comes when you're full of prayer. And uh, luck, com luck comes from God. Definitely. So pray. Get peace of mind. Yeah. Mm. Don't. If you put everything to be messy, they will mess up. Yeah. That is uh, peace of mind. That is customer service in your customers by finding out how they are. Was the product okay? Mm. The person attending to them is he rude? I normally reach out to them, and they feel like I'm part of them again. Prioritize, as you said. That is being organized. I yeah. first organize myself. Mm. I can't get out of the house. I because if you're not right up here, that means even everything you do yes. is going to be disorganized. Be positive. If you have positive thoughts, your business will run. Yeah. Well. But if you go with negative thoughts, it will still be negative. negative. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It will wow. be negative. Thank you so, so much for go sharing with this. All that. Patience. Yeah. Patience. Once you're patient in everything, you people, there is a way the right time hits the bar and mm. you raise very fast. So I'm a patient person. I, I love peace. I'm prayerful. And um, mm. also... Also, you have a supportive partner. Supportive partner. Allow me to applaud him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he is. Because first of all, he mm. supported that vision. True, true. And the fact that he gave you the other starting mm. uh, question that mm. propelled you to actually start. Yes. Like there are some spouses that would, you know, the person you marry matters a lot. Yes, there are yes. some people is your friend, who you right? marry and just, you know, kill your dreams mm. and not mm. help you be a better person. Mm. But someone who helps you to grow, mm. then they help you to build up this idea that you have mm. and then push you to even do better mm. that is quite a good Very partner mm. yeah even my shout out to supportive men you guys yeah, yeah. yeah so thank you guys for watching this interview if you find it helpful kindly give it a thumbs up let us know in the comment section what has caught your ear and if you have a question kindly leave it behind she is going to be willing to share everything yeah. that can actually help you elevate in your business maybe you want to start it or maybe you're already in it right now and you're getting some challenges or you would like to pick some ideas from her she will be here to help you i'll be leaving some of her con uh, her contacts in the description box below so from us to you is a bye bye